two or three hundred people the meetings, um, and it was had been described as a as a, a, a club with an annual party, which is sort of, and and I think that some of that ambiance, as you say, still remains, but it's undergoing huge change because of ex, because of a, a change in healthcare and the increasing numbers. So there's over a thousand members. There's about eight hundred eight hundred and fifty people at the meeting. The academy has a million dollars in the bank. It used to have a shoestring operation, and it's really gradually transforming. I think from a club into a bigger organisation with a bigger remit, and I I, I anticipate increasingly, uh, uh, although it will be a slow process, an international remit. The website is not great, but the website is being revamped. Um, and that should be due in the middle of the year. We now also have a um, program that some of you participate in of doing abstracts of relevant journal articles which should be on the website and now with critiques. So that should, if you want to use the website to keep up to date with information. And I hope by the next annual meeting we'll have a much more useful uh, and better website. I, I guess uh, whilst I've, I've emphasised it's really important what you guys can do as ambassadors for the Academy, and many of you have said very nice things about the benefits of coming here, I guess it's useful in the last few minutes uh, if there's anything people want to raise about that, that, that I and others can take to council about realistic things the Academy could do that would be helpful for you. So we've got five minutes for people to shout out what, if anything, they'd like the Academy to do, or to do different, or to do new, that would be helpful to you as people largely coming from outside the United States and Tennessee? Because I think one of the things is that the increasing challenges to, to see, be seen to deliver value for money. I think mean, economic rationalism is really here to stay. But I think um, if, there's any, if any, any members of the Academy or are doing work which shows that their service is making a difference or they've got a particular data collection which shows or demonstrates that. Anything like that, I think, would be useful yeah. for everybody, I think, because I think more and more often we have to justify to our masters in, in public service that actually we, we make a difference, we increase yeah. patient flow to the hospital, we make the discharge process smoother, and um, we value that in many different ways. And so I think that's a, big, big, a good thing. Is that, is that right? Is that a general issue for a lot of people, justifying your existence economically? Yes. <coughs> <coughs> I, think, I think it's increasingly more so because with activity-based funding,